There are a lot of options for you to work around with the brushes inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So over here to access out the brush tool, you can click on the brush and over here you can see brush is here. So if I were to click and drag, you can see that I simply start drawing. And if I were to go around and zoom in, you can see that this is actually a raster brush right here, a bitmap brush right here because we are in a bitmap layer. If I were to go around onto uh, the tool properties right here, then I can work around with different brush settings. For example, I can work around with the size of the brush right here and you will see the preview of the brush over here as well. So I can click and drag now and you can see that the brush is much more softer. Similarly, you can go around over here and get more options for brush as well. So you can go around and select, let's say this type of a brush and you can go around and click and drag and you can see you've got a different texture to this. So you can go around, work around with the size which is related with this uh, very option as you can see right here. You can work around with the flow as well. So if I were to decrease out the flow, you can see that it is much more softer right here. Whereas if I were to increase out the flow, then it is much more detailed. Let me just close this and work around with the opacity right here just like this. So if I were to work around with the opacity, you can see that the brush stroke that I have now is transparent. You can go around and then scroll down and uh, access out different kind of brushes from over here as well. So you can click and drag and see the brushes right here. You can go around on the bottom and here you can see that there are different uh, type of colors for the brushes as well, which you can choose by using these sliders or by using these swatches right here. You can click and drag around and you can see the brushes right here. So another thing that you can also do is you can go around and uh, then go around on to more options right here. And you can uh, work around with the stylus sensitivity right here. You can work around with the hardness of the brush. You can see all the preview right here. You can also work around with the spacing of the brush as you can see and you got the brush strokes accordingly. You can work around with the random size right here as you can see. You can work around with random spacing over here so that the spacing is random and so forth. So this is for uh, what this is actually for uh, the uh, uh, brush right here just like this. So I'm just going to go around and close this and let me just hide this layer right here. Let me just click on the hide layer button right here to hide out this layer and I'm going to go around create a new vector layer. So if I were to go around right now you can see the vector brush over here and you can go around select out brushes with different um, uh, textures right here which is still a vector layer brush right here. Here even if it is pixelated it is actually just um, a texture. If I were to go around over here onto more op option, then you can see uh, the options for the brushes right here just like this. So over here you can see you can work around with smoothing right here with center line and so forth. You can work around with smoothing over here. You can work around with transparency options uh, and everything else. So you can work around with all of these. But let me just go around over here and then let's say what I want to do is um, work around with a regular brush. So I'm just going to hide this and I'm going to create a new uh, bitmap layer and I'm going to select out a brush and I'm going to go around and select out a normal brush right here. So let me just go around select out a circle right here and then uh, what I want to do is uh, work around with the random spacing. Let me just decrease this out and the um, uh, random space right here, the spacing. I, I don't want, uh, uh, much, want much space right here so I'm just going to go around select this. Uh, press OK. So you can see that this is what I have now, but I'm just going to go around right here on to soft lead, increase out the uh, medium style so that I get this brush right here. You can see that everything is clean right now, but as soon as I go around over here and go to paper texture, you can go around and select different paper texture from over here as well. So once you do that, uh, what happens is that different paper textures are applied. So I'm just going to enable this right here by clicking on this and now you can select the texture and you can see that the selected paper texture actually pops up once you actually apply this out. Disable this and it becomes smooth again. But if you were to click around over here and enable out paper texture, then you can see that texture is applied accordingly. You can also go around, work around with dual tip right here and then under dual tip, you can go around and select out different options to combine the first and second tip over here as well, just like that. So that is how you can work around with brushes and its option to get different effects inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.